Hello everyone, welcome to the Shadow of Judgment. We look at what goes on with your week. This is for September 27th to October 4th. Who are we reading for? We just did you Earth. No. Crazy. Okay. Air signs. You're up next. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. This resonates with you. Good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it's just a card game, right? If you want a personal, all the info is down below. Newcomers, first reads on the house, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. You got the Ace of Swords, Gemini. You got some truth, some clarity on your side. When it comes to a situation where you're possibly waiting. Impatiently. Uh. <laughs> ah, that was quick. Um, you might be getting tired of waiting, actually. You know? Hold on. I almost forgot to write y'all's card down. Alright. Could be a Queen of Wands you're dealing with. Sag, Aries, Leo, right? Truth is, someone might want a reason to stick around. A rating for the end of something. That just went somewhere. Okay, you be that way then. She's impatient, but she's looking over what the fuck it is she's trying to harvest. Um, wanting to stick around to avoid some conflict. Hmm. Oh, well, Gemini. Look at all of this craziness right here. Okay, so let's see. Two seconds. So, Gemini. There's some truth or some clarity about wanting to stick around will end some conflict. If someone's trying to preserve their strength, control something with gentleness, that beast, right? And we got a Queen of Wands over here who's really impatient, really bitchy, being really immature, not being very nice, probably combative, if you will. He's been looking over everything. It doesn't feel the best when it comes to, like, how she's demonstrated her strength when it comes to um, temperance, Sage's card, um, coming together or trying to communicate with somebody. Over here we have the Three of Wands, where someone's waiting. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Someone's waiting for the end so they don't have to offer anything. Possibly Earth Sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. When it comes in regards of this Temperance card. <coughs> oh my goodness. Sorry. Um, my bad. Yeah, that's what it looks like, Gemini. It's like, um... There's something hmm. Gemini, it's like kind of like um whatever mind you cross watchers switch where you need to. <laughs> right? But I can't tell if you're waiting on somebody to tell you that it's cool to not offer something anymore? Or if there was some realization that came to you where, um... Maybe impatience, you know, and combativeness played a part, but after a while you kind of looked it over and was just like, Oh, Jesus, what have I done with this situation over here? But you're still preserving your strength, so that's the biggest thing. What are you all Nine of Swords about? Walking away. 
your cups were still full. Nothing really changing. Ew, got a bunch. Feeling like you gotta go back and possibly apologize for some naughty shit because, like, you know, knock some cups over, you gotta try to move on somehow, right? Even if it is by yourself, eventually a door will open for you. Hmm. That's a very tender message, Gemini. That's what's in store for your week this week. Oh? Oh. Libra, you're up next for your shadow. Yay. Let's see. Might be secrets coming out for you, Libra. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Anyway. Let's see, Libra, what's going on for your week? We got uh, no cup for you. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> Seinfeld. Uh, hmm. Is there no love to a happy ending this week for some of you or the people you're dealing with? Because I feel like it's some person who doesn't want to give it to these people over here. It's like, this is a happy family, but like, one person's like, it's not happy enough for me. You know? Or maybe they're just like a Debbie Downer or a Goofy Grouch. Um, someone wants to run away from these people to where they don't have to offer their cup or anything. That's interesting. But putting up a fight about that shit, Libra. These folks got the open doors, like, it's almost like church. It's, it's like you're almost dealing with church people. A little bit. Ah, that went that way. Let's see. Trying to let your guard down around them. You're looking at that open door. They leave you with no choice, almost, too. Hmm. Ooh, Libra, you're in a conundrum. What is that word? A conundrum? Is that what it is? I think that's what that word is. Anyway, you're in quite a pickle um, that's making you fickle, right? Let's just go that way. Like, fickly lickly do. Or, what would Ned Flanders say? I don't know. He was a ridiculous character. <laughs> anyway, alright, Libra. You or the person you're dealing with, or cross watcher, or whoever it is, you know? There's an ace of cups here that someone is running towards because they are terrified of church people over here, right? And it's like someone is desperately trying to fight off doing anything because they got work to do, but that's just going to come to an end at some point soon. The person who wants to run, they do want to open up, but there's something about back in the day that ended that's keeping them from doing that. They keep looking at that cup like... Mm, it just seems kind of familiar, you know. Now, church people up here, they have the door wide open. And it's like, it's no other option. But here's the page of pentacles where it's like, he's reversed. So it's like he's an idiot. And I feel like it's them offering something towards you or this water side or something like that, right? And it's like... The Page of Pentacles is all about, like, how you deal with people, like, how you present yourself, or how you handle folk, and he's reversed, so it's, like, very, very poorly, with the side dish of, oh my god, how dare you, the audacity, right? It's just a plain out idiot, they don't know how to handle people, they offer very little, and then when they do offer it, it's just bullshit on a plate, and they know it's bullshit, but you really can't expect much from them, because that's all they are, right? What's up with this person offering with the Page of Pentacles? Oh, they're giving you shit and hoping you, uh... Okay, let's say that they offer you, Libra, something, right? It's trash to them, but they're expecting something of value back from you for it. In a more higher regard. Like, they want you to be a knight while they be a stupid-ass page. Like, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, you, they want you to offer something from the past uh, in order to um, relieve your brain. 
but this might develop into a tower moment that you're not going to be able to rest from because it'll make you feel like a loser and what okay one more because like that one's kind of confusing with the ten of pentacles like you'll feel like a loser you have an enemy in your house in your house oh yeah there might be secrets in your house dude moon again I feel like someone, Libra, is trying to compel you to talk to them. Whether it be church people, whether it just be happy people in general, maybe even people you're suspicious of because they possibly, I don't know, remind you of somebody you used to know or something or you just pick up weird vibes from them. But I feel like they want you to talk this week because they see something going on with you that I don't know if you see or not. Like, there might be secrets in your house about an enemy, or you not being victorious, something that you're not quite aware of. They might see it, and they might be opening their arms up, and probably giving you very minimal, um, ignorant shit in order to get you to give something of value. In order to get the information about this scenario right here. I don't know. But that's what I got for your- sorry, Cora. That's what I got for your week, Libra. Aquarius, you're up next. Step up to the plate, motherfucker. How are my favorite little aliens doing today? Good, I hope. Cute good things, you. <laughs> Let's see. Aquarius you are working on something you're building projects and shit and you are not looking for booty whatsoever could be with a fire sign Leo Sag Aries they might be running away from you while you work yeah yeah they might be running away from you while you work or you could be running away from them cross watch your switch where you need to of course right might be working with the devil <laughs> oh that went right in the cat food yeah it did Whatever bag. Wherever you went to. Hmm. I don't understand the whole working with the devil thing. Because that's pretty fucking... <laughs> like, there's no way I could, like, mistranslate that. That is, like, straight up what that is. Like, why are you working with the devil? Or at least the Capricorn. Because that's literally pretty much the same thing. Well, not really. No. Well... Depends on the Capricorn, I'll say that, because not all all Capricorns are not the same in the slightest. Okay. Let's see. And you get a third one. Right down on the smackaroos, guys. Okay. So, Aquarius, you are possibly working with the devil to get yourself that glow, that nine of pentacles. Right. If not, you're possibly working with the Capricorn to get that way, because possibly this Capricorn... <laughs> Might look that way, bless you, baby. Ugh. Either the Capricorn might look like they're doing pretty good, or you want to do that good. But the thing is, there's a lot of regrets and remorse that you're trying to fight, right? Now, you want to come together with that and another person, maybe a third party in here when it comes to work, um, coming together to delegate stuff, when it comes to like what you can and cannot do with this house. Ten of pentacles right up here. But this leaves the Queen of Pentacles, possibly this Capricorn, or a Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, pissed. Like they might be an unfaithful spouse, they might be an overbearing mother. There might be a lot of nasty things, but they're definitely not entirely happy with the scenario as it's going. It's going to leave somebody pretty um, demanding, exhausted, um, asking for a lot of shit. A lot of things that might come to be regrettable and not being able to get over it that someone tries to fight. Someone might also not be able to move forward it the way they think. You know, this King of Wands isn't trying to take any passionate action. He's not going for booty. Especially not from this Empress. Um, might actually be quite bitter and think that things are not fair and that's why they're not trying to move forward and be in conflict as well. Hmm. What's with this devil? Because I'm curious. How are you working with the devil, Aquarius? 
Oh, because there was an offer. Okay. Of secrets. Okay, yeah. If, like, I'd probably... Uh, yeah, if it was secrets, yeah, I'd probably do that shit, too. Something that you had to restrain, restrict, gain domination, and domesticate in order to make the choices for yourself. Uh, this also requires you to apologize for some sneaky shit in order to be happy. Be childlike all over again. Huh. Strange. Aquarius. Yeah, you're working with the devil to get an offer of a bunch of secrets that you're still gonna have to keep shut. You know, you're, you're trying to close the lion's mouth, being like, stop it, just shh, shh. shh. Like we're in a movie theater, you know, trying to keep its mouth closed, right? But this also comes with trying to come up with some decision to um, apologize for some sort of past transgressions that will make you childlike and happy again with the sun. Maybe with a Leo? I'm not sure. But that's your shadows, my dears. So that's the end of the reading. If you guys enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe. You don't got to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it, and it would make me feel so special. Okay? Okay. I'll see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye.